OK, so we're now going to be creating a JavaScript uh, file, or rather a uh, an HTML file with a JavaScript uh, script inside. For that, you have already read about the client uh, side and server side scripting and uh, done the first part of this series of assignments, which is to you know, find those uh, those websites and turn in the uh, add URLs for them. Also, uh, now that we're done with that, we're going to be creating our own script uh, inside the page. And uh, although the lesson, the one that's linked to here and I have open on another tab, says that you should open up a page that's already called JavaScript, uh, you don't have that. But we do have access to the code, and that's smack right here in the middle of the assignment. I'm going to highlight all of this, uh, all the all the code from uh, .type.html to the end of the HTML file. Let me do that again. Make sure that everything's selected. Now I got all the text selected. I'm going to right click and copy. And I'm going to move on to my GitHub. Here, I'm already in my repository. I see the rest of my files. I'm going to create a, a new file. Uh, which will be called JavaScript.html inside of a folder called week 12. So week 12 is the first part that I type in. No spaces, no capital letters. I put in the uh, slash so that it knows that that's a folder. And then I'm going to call it JavaScript.html. Now I'll go into the editor. And that text that I copied, I'm going to paste. I can press Control V to paste, and there it is. It's just a regular page, uh, except that says web design to Judy Jetson's JavaScript page for the title. We'll, I'll just put in my name. You can put in yours. Uh, the head is over there. Then there's body, and there's a remark that says the content of your web page will go here. Uh, what that means is that in the lesson, as we come down here, the, the activities, be sure to read the activities before you, I hope you already read the activities before you're watching this. Uh, they'll tell you that basically we're going to be adding a, a script into the HTML file, and it's going to go inside of the head section. So it's not a very long script. The script is declared with the uh, brackets there script, I should say angle brackets script, uh, and they close with angle brackets slash script. Uh, it then declares a function, which is going to be like a, the name of a little subroutine, a little program inside of the code, so that whenever we invoke the show alert command, it does something. In this case, it's going to alert. It's going to pop up a window and say, hello world. So I'll right click to copy that and go back to my code. And that is going to be inside of the head. The head, let me get this a little bit larger. The head starts on line three. It goes all the way to six. I'm going to go to the end of line five. Press Enter so that I'm in the line just before the end of the head. And I paste Control V. And now I have a script inside of the head parameters. And the function show alert. It alerts hello world. Ends the script. And then the body does nothing. It's just a comment. The comment, the content of your web page will go here. So the uh, assignment will tell you that in order to load this, there's plenty of ways and read the link and read the rest of the text here. Uh, the easiest way to do it, at least for now, it's going to be to add an unload uh, command onto the text that we already have. So we can either copy all of this, the body onload equals show alert. What this means that when the body loads up on the page, uh, then it will load this function called show alert. I'll copy that, go back to my code. And rather than, since I copied the whole thing, rather than just typing it in after body and I already copied that other part. I'm just going to replace everything. Body unload equals show alert. And that's it. So the when I expect this to what I expect to happen is that when this page loads, it will tell me hello world. So I'll scroll down, commit this new file. 
and go back into the javascript.html the file that i just saved just because i'm going to keep on working on it and i'm going to open up the editor again because there's still more to come and i can now go and visit my uh my page well i went a little bit too fast so i'm gonna go back a little bit here before i tell it to edit i can once again that i mentioned i was lazy when it comes to typing i'm going to select the my username.github.io slash week 12 slash javascript.html right click on it and say go to the address and if it's already saved this page it will load it and it did, and it loaded up the script. And there's a pop-up that when the body loaded, it says, hello world. I'll click OK. And then now I'll go back and edit this file because we're going we're gonna to change the code a little bit. We're going to be adding a variables. Be sure to read about variables. If you need to click on the link and go back to get a bit more uh, information about it, it's not very, uh, not very uh, difficult. To, uh, to wrap your head around. Basically, a variable is just uh, something that holds a value. And in this case, we're going to have it hold the value of a sentence. It's going to be a string. A string can consist of words, letters, symbols, etc. In this case, we're going to create a variable. It's going to be called my text, And the content will be something else. This can be whatever you like. Well, we'll do something else. Once again, because they're giving you a sample, you can copy all of this. I selected the whole script. I, you could, if you wanted to, only get the text inside of the script, just the function, or get the whole thing, as long as you replace the script. So I'll copy that, go back to my program. Since I did select the script, I'm going to highlight my line 6 through 10 and paste. So now my new script, the one that I just copied, has a function called show alert, and this can be whatever you like. Well, since it can be whatever we like, I'm going to change it, and I'll say something like welcome to uh, IMED 2415 exclamation point. That's this class. So my text is equal to this string inside of the quotes. That's how strings are handled. And then the alert rather than having uh, definite words to say there, we'll say my text so that if we change the value of my text, it will display whatever my text is. I'll go back to the page. And now, rather than doing an, um, a show alert, we're going to be doing something else. But let's test this one just to make sure that we're doing OK. I'm going to commit the file, commit changes. And once again, just let it save and go back and reload my text since I'm going to be changing this. I'm going to go back to the other page that I where I had loaded it up, javascript.html inside of week 12. I'm going to reload it. And now, since we changed the variable, it tells us, welcome to IMA 2415. I'll click OK. I'll right click and view the page source. And I see that the program that we typed in, well, that's what's making this, the, this thing work. It, uh, it's running a script inside of the head. It's called uh, when the body loads, on load, and it's showing us the alert. So I'll go back to the page. They want us to do something else. And one more change, and we'll be just about done with this. So rather than loading it up, uh, on load, we're going to do it on click so that we're going to be adding some HTML, uh, a button element, so that we create a button that so that it's not until you click it that you see the message. First, we're going to remove the show alert attribute from body. So in your code, if you've already typed in, I hope you have, the uh, body on load, body will remain because that's an, in, that's an important element. I'm just going to highlight everything after body so that it's only body inside of the angle brackets. And they give us this new code, button on click is equal to show alert. 
So the other one, the other code that we used was on load. This, and it was body that was being affected. So button will be affected and it will be affected on click. Only when we click the button will we actually see the alert. So I'll copy that code and we can put it anywhere within the body of the web page. So here where it says the content of your web page will go here. Now it's a good opportunity to get rid of that. And all I did was press uh, delete or backspace. And I'll press enter a couple of times just so that I have some space to play with. And I'll paste the button uh, code that I just copied. So I hope that when we reload the page, I'll see a button that says show alert. I can say something else like click to show alert or whatever you like. And I want to commit the changes. So the changes are committed. We do have one more thing to change. I'll see if, if I reload, if uh, GitHub's had enough time to uh, think about this and update it. It still is working with the old code. And now instead of waiting for the page to load, which is, doesn't take too long, it the button loads. It says, click the show alert. I'll click, and now I get the message, welcome to I'm at 2415. I'll click OK, and it goes away. The rest of the lesson and is just says that you can add a uh, style to the button. So you can add a new style element to the head section of the page and add this. This is a sample. This is just an example style sheet. You can uh, do your own. You can change it a little bit after. I'm going to copy this in the meantime. I'm not going to mess too much with it. I'm going to go back to my editor. I'm going to find the head elements. And I guess I can put it in once I start to uh, edit this. I'll put it I'll put it right after the script. So I'll open up a style. I'm going back at style. Uh, paste what I just copied. Press enter again, angle bracket slash style. So now I have CSS inside of the page as well as JavaScript. I'll commit the changes and, uh, and hopefully it will not take too long for me to come back and reload this. I'll give it a few more seconds. Well, I mean, the button works OK. Maybe the source is still working on it. Sometimes, even at home, it's slow. So I reloaded, and now I get styling so that when I hover on top of click to show alert, and the book says, hey, watch, you know, see how we did this. Uh, uh, drop shadow as well. So I click the show alert and now I get my message. Welcome to I'm at 2415. I'll click OK. And uh, that's it for this part of the projects. There will be more videos coming up. I think there's about four or five uh, uh, small assignments like this one in the module. Um, I'll see you in the next one.